Singapore Art Week is set to return for its 10th edition next January, celebrating the growth of the local visual arts scene over the past decade. Visitors around the world can take part in over 100 events, with art to be displayed across the island and online as well. And joining us with more tonight is Tay Tong. He's Director of Sector Development and Visual Arts at the National Arts Council. And Johan Fauzi, artist collector and one of the festival's artists. Oh, uh, Mr. Tay Tong, let's start with you. The tagline this year, as it has been in past years, mm -hmm. is Art Takes Over. I presume that every year you have had to portray Art Takes Over in a way that uh, represents what happens, what you feel about that year. For this year, for next year, rather, 2022, how will you be representing Art Takes Over? Yeah. Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for having Singapore Art to be uh, here once again. Um, well, I think the, the tagline Art Takes Over, uh, we've been using it since 2019. <clears throat> Primarily, it's uh, inspired by the fact that the Singapore Art Week wants to bring art to as many people as possible and to bring art to as many locations in Singapore as possible. So what this means is that, you know, you will be able to experience art all over the island and the 130 <coughs> um, performances and exhibitions will actually be dotted all over Singapore. And for SAW 2022, you'll find them in the most unconventional spaces. You will experience art in the cinema, at the projector, at a bookshop, Garcia Books, at, uh, at warehouses at Tanjung Paga District Park, as well as um, a Bidok uh, home, and uh, as well as along together with you know, other cultural institutions like museums and galleries as well. Yeah. So bringing art to almost every corner of Singapore, mm -hmm. Tay Tong, mm -hmm. this is 10 years that you've been doing this, mm -hmm. 10 years of, of growth of, of SOAR. Uh, the past year, we've past two years, actually, we've been uh, very much challenged by mm -hmm. the COVID-19 pandemic. How has that pandemic, how has it actually uh, challenged uh, the, the manner in which you've produced SOAR? Has it made it more difficult? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I always like the fact that challenges brings in new opportunities. Um, what the pandemic has done is that it has actually challenged us into how do we deliver on the quality, the quality um, uh, art experiences to our audience. So we've gone digital as well as physical. So with the digital, how can you allow, how do you bring about the full experience of the exhibition to our audiences? So that's something that uh, has been challenging us and but we have found ways of doing that. So at the same time, actually, what under, what uh, is a main challenge every year for Singapore Art Week is to really ensure that the audience gets the best quality art experiences. So that's something which the team works very hard on. And with the pandemic, um, we have found great opportunities, really, in the sense that by being able to go digital, harnessing on technology, we are able to reach a wider set of audiences, um, not and which is beyond Singapore. And with that also, our artists are actually very much challenged into creating how creating new expressions, new artistic expressions and different formats of presentation. So for example, in Singapore Art Week 2022, um, you will get to see a lot of art and tech um, art experiences. Oh, Johan, uh, let's bring you into the discussion now. If I pick up from what Mr. Taitong said earlier, uh, bringing art into unconventional spaces. Oh, you are an art collector who has, uh, in a very real sense, taken your passions home, transforming your flat with uh, 18th century classical European pieces. Uh, you have mentioned, in, or rather it's described uh, in the, the introduction to your work on the Singapore Arts Week uh, 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 web page, it says you will bring to light tensions between what is familiar and unfamiliar. How does that work? And how does that work in the context of your work? So uh, Basically, I, I'm a collector and stuff for the last 20, 30 years. Then um, I decided to you know why not uh, bring all my, I mean, the other artists to present their work into into my my space basically have I mean let them I mean the work speaks for itself because mine is basic classical 
So we are looking at um, contemporary artwork by artists like Ma Masuri Maslan, Tini Alimin, uh, Dr. Ian Wu, Adeline Kui, Jura Torami, Sarah Wee, and myself. So basically my work is um, uh, talks about conceptual framing, but it comes into this uh, work, uh, into this space, you are lost in the 18th century. Most of those who ever uh, drop by my, my studio space, they can't tell time that like they come in at two and suddenly it's 8 p.m. at night. So during this, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, pandemic, so uh, I mean, uh, we don't communicate much because um, basically I'm just stay at home and do my work. Of course, I am in connection with, uh, with all the other artists and ask them, I mean, why don't we do something about it and react to the space? So like Masri Mazlan will do a, a black light alien sculptures coming out of, of the my ceramics, et cetera. Tini Aliman, Aliman will, will do a Baroque piece of uh, Southeast Asian theme music. Dr. Ian Wu will do uh, works like uh, abstract painting using digital format. Uh, Adeline Kui will do a ASMR video on, on Madeline's, because Madeline's reminds uh, like a Prowse moment where simple biscuits or cakes will remind you of time and space. Uh, Jura Turami will weave, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fiber optics uh, with a textile which she, she acquired from all parts of uh, Thailand. Then while uh, Sarah we uh, will uh, you call it, do an installation digital uh, video in the toilet itself. Basically, so she was inspired by this. Yeah, hmm. so sorry uh, to cut in, uh, Johan. So Johan, all of that is going to be taking place in your home, uh, yeah. as we understand it. That, yeah. So, so that's going to be a highly yes. visual event with so many different artists uh, in yes. there. I mean, you've been, yes. you just mentioned that, that you've been at home most of the time, as most of us have during this pandemic. Has yes. that impacted yes. your art yes. uh, in any way specifically? And not really. I enjoy more because I can concentrate. Otherwise, I'll be out and about socializing and I spend a lot of time outside. Then not much work can be done. So it's in a way a blessing in disguise for me. So I tend uh, to spend more time doing my artwork itself. Right. Lots more time to focus. Johan, thank you very much for that. We've yes. been speaking there to Tay Tong, <laughs> Director yes. of Sector Development in Visual Arts at the National Arts Council, as well as Johan Fauzi, artist and collector. Mm -hmm.